Because I want a dang challenge. Go, go, go. Because, Chad, when I dominate by 15 seconds, that's not fun for you guys. I, you don't, you don't want to see domination, right? And if you do, I'm, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> We all have our opinions. Why? Yeah, really, you like to see uh, people just dominating the race? Interesting. But like, by 15 seconds though, interesting. Right, I guess that's the question of the day. Do you prefer like closer racing or? Good talk. Okay, so <laughs> it's the same qualifying position. Ah! Well, Matt Crafton isn't uh, up there then. Let's see who gets the lucky pole. Ross. Okay, well, that shouldn't change anything. I thought that was funny. Okay, so Ross gets the extra pole, and what I'm going to do is just do that. That's the only thing I'm going to change from this harder setup so without further ado we're, let's get to it and hopefully it's actually a little harder because that was where's natalie oh man i hope she's in here maybe she no i see her in the back she she's in the back duh are you surprised are you surprised she's uh in the back ready all right, but we are green. Can't pass before we get. Yep, there we go. Still there. Still there. Well, there we go to the inside. Oh, got on the apron there. That didn't feel good. They kicked her out because. Kicked her out of the ride. Stay low, stay low. All right, you're clear. Take All right, Austin awesome Hill. We're going to go to the front here. All right, it's in the middle. Middle of three. We're going to have to take them. Hold that line, driver. Car down the inside. Oh, there we go. All right, clear outside. All oh, clear. he blocks. Austin Hill blocked. All right, middle of three again. Let's go. Car outside. Hold your line. Hang tight there, driver. Very close racing. I swear, if I s Spencer Boy blocked. Oh, what a what a block right there. Hang tight there, driver. Inside. All right, clear outside. I am a robot. One one eight. Thank you so much for the uh, follow, my guy. Hopefully, you're enjoying the stream. How are you doing today? Okay, up here in the P5. I'll tell you what, Chad. This is definitely a lot harder. I can feel it already. Yo, what's going on, guy? How's your Friday night going? Inside. You got room. You're clear. Oh, 
All right, so I guess we're just still just gonna go to the front here, so... Hmm. Big think. Maybe Auto Club is just busted for the player. Is the team... Oh, um... Uh, DJR Crosley is, like, easily, like, a, uh, four-star team. Think of them as the, uh... As the, uh, JD Motorsports of the Truck Series. Yeah, who's your favorite driver? I'm a robot. All right, Brett Moffitt making a move. Trying to, at least. Okay, but this is a lot better. This is a lot more close and competitive, honestly. Uh, the core series, I know it's around. I know it's a thing with all like the major uh, um, YouTubers, but um, never, uh, never actually watched uh, the new uh, Heat Four series. I know it's around though. I know it's a thing. Yeah, same. I uh, I watched it in Heat Three because uh, my favorite driver was uh, What If Racing, and I think he finished second, didn't he? Or looking to the inside of Ross. Who is uh, winning the? Well, who's in the uh, championship lead right now? Turns one and two is our uh, playground. Turns three and four could use a little work, but you know, we're making do and we're still climbing to the front. Ross is making things difficult though. Something happen on the high side. Careful, New leader. All right, you're clear. Inside. All right, you're clear. Leave some space for Ross on the bottom. We're racing clean here. Careful, Coming there. to the line. Ah. Oh. So it's either sloppy or uh, or wind bow. Okay. I don't know about uh, sloppy, but uh, I know wind bow. I don't know. I noticed. Uh, I don't know. I try to model my races a little differently than theirs, which is why I do like 100% races as well as uh, make things as hard for me as possible. Because I was looking at the setups that they, yeah, you know, actually no, the setups and uh, the settings that they run with. Um, like, what if uh, on Heat 4 runs with more tire grip and less fall off? And to me, that's just like God mode. Dominated last night. Interesting. Was he using the high line? 
because the High Line is like the only way around on uh, Homestead. Like if you're not using the High Line, you're not winning. It's kind of like Kansas in that regard. Kansas, Bristol. Homestead, Kansas, Bristol. Um, what are the ones that are like very high line dominant? Well, Las Vegas, you can kind of run the high side, but it's not like optimal. Chicagoland, I guess, kind of. But Chicagoland, you mostly want to run on the bottom. It's like Las Vegas. So yeah, chat, um, in the hopes of making it harder, I think, uh, <coughs> don't know who that guy is, but, uh, I mean, like, the high side is definitely, like, if you're not using it, you're not going to be able to make a pass. So, like, if you just stay up there, you're you're just going to win. Unless uh, your opponent just crash passes you. Which is, I would assume, very looked down on. Chad, look at us go. Like I said, made it harder and we're still dominating. Got a little slippery there off the, uh, at the end of the corner. Like I said, we have only three sets of tires that we have to deal with, so... I mean, 20? So essentially, if we go those entire laps, which is basically what we're going to have to do, we have 35, 70, and then lap 105, and that'll take us to the end. So essentially, we're going to do the no pit on yellow uh, challenge, because in order to get the total distance of... Um, of uh, three, four tire stops, we have to literally run this fuel tank dry. I know I can do it. Well, how is everyone else going to feel and do? So, uh, yeah, I guess a uh, new challenge activated. Uh, don't pit on yellow. We're only pitting during the green. In order to get this strategy uh, going. Unless, of course, there is a caution where I, I, you can squeak on by. So, like, if there's a caution that flies on, like, like lap 32, hey, that's perfect. You know I can do what? Yeah, we're just leaving these guys in the dust. But yeah, we have a very strong truck. Dominating truck. No, no, no. What were you saying? I want to know. You got me curious. Yeah, 
there we go. That was a very good set of corners, if I may, if I do say so myself. But out of curiosity, everyone, as we move into uh, closer and closer to the new year, what do you guys want to see out of uh, out of my channel for the new year? Because the current series that we're running is uh, career mode, both Xfinity and Truck. We have um, the Truck of Tomorrow series, which is all the custom series. Uh, Praxis and Formal Xfinity, and so uh, that included. Uh, we also have uh, and four championship modes: uh, Truck, Xfinity, Cup, and then the Fantasy Six. So, what do you guys want to see uh, coming out of the new year? Do you want to see just more of that, more single-player content, or? Chat's not updating. See that people are uh, saying stuff. Hold up. Let's see if that does anything on, as we go back onto the back stretch. All right, I'm now a IT master as I race. Don't at me. People said that I have never been that much of a uh, multitasker, but boy did I prove them wrong. Alright, let's see here. Okay, or, or not, so the chat just deleted itself. All right, so I'm sorry for anyone that just uh, commented. Say it again, please. Because as I uh, popped out of the uh, the Twitch app, uh, literally it restarted the app and I lost chat. So, chat, I apologize for that. If So if you could uh, say it again, that'd be great. Hello, Mav. What do I think about the 2021 uh, next-gen cars? I think it will fix all the problems that we had with, uh, with this year's, hopefully. I mean, that's ideal. But we'll see. So check and fly with, with the Cup Series. What about the Cup Series? So we're coming up on lap traffic right here. A full championship mode with uh, all the, like, as in, like, all the races, like, all 36.
like all 36 with the playoffs or uh, without the playoffs because the 25 the one I'm doing right now is essentially is essentially what the uh, series would look like without the playoffs oh my god Siri stop I didn't ask you coming up on Haley Deegan Okay. Yeah, I can definitely uh I can definitely do something like that. Yeah, Chad, if you want to see something just shoot me some ideas. I'm open to I'm open to anything. I have to fit some time and probably uh, cancel a couple of uh, of, uh, of things, but yeah. Tell me what you want to see. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 Matt Crafton's flying. Matt Crafton started in the back with me. How the hell did he go up to second? Man, second through uh, fifth is very close to each other. I'm up on Josh Rayum. Yeah, I know he did. Yeah, Matt Crafton it did just follow me. Follow me to the front. But one thing he uh, doesn't have that I have is a five second gap on his nearest uh, competitor. Yes, he seems to be faster than Ross, but definitely not faster than me. And I think it looks like Matt uh, took the high side in turn four with how close uh, Ross got to him right there. I can tell. But starting to uh, get through lap traffic right now. Nah, these are like the super slow uh, trucks, so I'm not worried about them. It's nice to see that we're going a full race distance, though. Uh, well, sorry. By full race distance, I mean full, uh, full stint. Five more laps and five more laps, and we'll have a pit stop. I'll make that four more laps. We're coming up on Travis Quaffle and Natalie Decker. It looks like. I, I definitely see Natalie Decker up there. I want to say it's either Spencer Boy or Travis Quaffle. Can't quite tell. Yeah, watch out for her. I know she'll she'll just come out and bite you. So, oh, uh, but quick question, though. Um, for the uh, full season that you're talking about NASCAR, do you want to see, like, 100% races then? I'm Because, I mean, I'll be... Because that's optimally what I would like, like to do, but, like... To have a full season... Like that... It'd be up to you guys. It was Travis Quaffle. Hey, look at that. 
get to the inside here for both of them. Stay very clear of her. You're all clear of top. Come up on Jennifer Jo Cobb. Jennifer Jo Cobb is actually very close to being in the playoffs, by the way. If you look in the uh, standings down below. You're almost out again. All right, so next time around. She's actually very, very close. Yeah, Matt Crafton is definitely, definitely uh, gapping Ross. Okay, so we're going to come in this time, and we are going to actually be a really aggressive with the... Uh, so a full season with 100% races, I can definitely do that. I'll have to see how the schedule looks, but... Alright, come on down. Back it down, back it down. Oh, took it way too uh, cautiously there. I say the former NASCAR. So there's the lead. We're definitely... Mm, we can definitely put in uh, more uh, tape. I know that. So... Yeah, let's, let's just go with this and see if we need to make any more adjustments. Yeah, I know, dude. It's it's Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Oh, water is good. And back out. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. All right, so I guess this is where the hard part comes in. We are barely on the lead lap. <laughs> but pit stops are happening, though. Stay low, stay low. Oh, man, Jennifer Joe Cobb. Totally got in our way there. The Killed us out of the corner. Yeah, water is good unless you're Denny. Still there. I, did, I did slap a lot of tape on there, though. I don't. It didn't affect me in the uh, when I tried it last time, so hopefully it doesn't this time. Well, I mean, hopefully it doesn't. That's what I meant. Sorry. But yeah, pit stops are starting to happen, though. It looks like I was the first one to drag everyone on down. Yep, Matt Crafton's coming on down this time. Oh, wow, nice. Congrats, man. That's huge. Fifth overall in the entire country. Wow. That's, like, literally, like, one of the hardest things that you can possibly get. A Canadian NASCAR fan? I mean, sure. I mean, the truck series go up there. God, I remember when the Xfinity series did when they went to Montreal. Man, I wish Montreal would come on back. That was a great race. I, I, lo I love that track. Yeah, the Pinty series goes up there as well. Um, God. But no one ever talks about the Pinty series, if you, if you, uh, if you recall. 
you were just like the what? Oh yeah, we are just so far ahead. Got a little loose. Well, no, yeah, I'm just, I'm just making a statement though that no one ever talks about the Piney series. That's what I was saying. Is that like people, whenever uh, people hear the night, uh, the Piney series, they're just like the what, the who? Do I want a pint of what? That's what I'm saying. Matt Crafton, we just doubled our lead on Matt, by the way. Looks like Harrison's coming on down this time. Bunch of late stops, I'll say that. We were the first one that stopped. Now everything's uh, shaking on out. Tyler Dipple is also a part of that. Ben Rhodes right there in 20th. All right, you're clear. It's 24. Nice. That's awesome. Pass Tyler Dipple, pass Harrison Burton, back to the lead. Now we're waiting for Matt Crafton to come on by to collect second place again. Yeah, we got a huge lead right there. Barring any major disaster, I don't want to jinx myself too early, but I think we we're definitely going to have a uh, a good run. Welcome back, David. We may have just won this race here on lap 44. I don't want to jinx myself, and I probably just did. But barring any tragedy happening, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'll tell you what, this tape's definitely helping on out, and my, my temps are fine. I'm actually gonna add on more uh, next stop. What, what'd you miss? Uh, absolutely nothing. You missed me taking the lead and just running away with it. Matt Crafton followed me, and he's up there in P2. We just got done with our uh, with our stops. Harrison Burton was the last one to pit. He's now P3. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know anything about the NHL. But that sounds exciting. Congrats, man. We're actually losing a little time to Matt Crafton. That's actually surprising. Yeah, and then I'm the opposite. Uh, I watch uh, a little to no hockey, but a lot of NASCAR.
I did not watch the award show, no, I was at work. But, uh... But NASCAR can give you the uh, recap. You watched it. Unless you watched it as well. Very poorly done. In what, in what regard? Anthony Alfredo. Anthony Alfredo getting the uh, getting the old lap down treatment. Still there. You're all clear up top. Drift on up the track. Mike Sam was in front of Oh. Oh, poor DW. So we're about holding station to Harrison Burton, but not so much to Matt Crampton. Alfredo sauce. Good old pasta and sauce. Chad, I am surprised that there has been no cautions. How the heck did this happen? I have this on normal cautions. We have gone 50 laps without a single uh, yellow flag. This period. This is a full race, yes. Apparently 135 is the max that the trucks can go around here. Don't don't ask me why, but but they can. But as I were uh, but like I said, chat, we are doing the uh the uh no pender yellow challenge. Where essentially, I don't pander yellow. That's the name of the challenge. That was also a very terrible corner. Oof, that was awful. Yeah, we definitely are uh, holding station pretty well. Yep, so it's actually kind of helping me that there hasn't been any cautions. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm complaining for. My dumb ass over here is just like, ah, oh, there's no yellows when I'm doing a don't pender yellow challenge. Idiot, I swear. have been. I'm, I'm going to be uh, catching up to her here in about I want to say like seven laps because I can see her all, all the way off in the distance. That's her um, going in three and four right now. Not the two in front of me, but the one in front of her. Uh, in front of them, I should say. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. That could be Josh Malicki. It's a white It's a white truck. I know that. And whenever I see a white truck, I just automatically assume it's Natalie Decker. How are we looking at the gaps? Uh, basically nothing new around here. Matt Crafton doing very well in P2. Oh, flag. I lied. Commentator's curse. <laughs> he just he just DNF'd right in front of me as soon as I said it. Oh, oh yeah, Matt Crafton's doing pretty well, and he's out. Watch, he's. I know it says he is in P3, but. He's DNFing. He is out of this race. Just watch. 
<laughs> All right, who's pinning here? Only those three. Interesting, interesting. Enter dasting, chat. Enter. Enter dasting. We have two more sets of tires, and like I said, in order to make this work, yeah, he's out of the race. <laughs> I was right. What the hell? I was talking about how good he's doing, and all of a sudden, nope. He's just like, ah, nope, I'm done. <laughs> oh, there he is. Whoa. Really loose, actually. Alright, well, um, we got a magnificent run, honestly. So, anyway, continuing on with the uh, No Pay Under uh, Yellow Challenge. Back to the regularly scheduled program of MadCraft and DNFing. Harrison Burton has the freshest tires out of everyone, so I'm actually going to have to be on the lookout for him. Oh, nice! I mean, which, let's be honest, we all knew it was going to be Chase. If it wasn't Chase, we were all being, we were all just through for a loop. Harrison Burton, is that Gustine? Oh man, Gustine had a magnificent run in Daytona. And here he is up in P3 again. He's trying to make a playoff appearance. Chad, and if you're, uh, new around here and be like, hey, what the heck is the Truck of Tomorrow series? Well, if you look uh, below in the Twitch info, you can see what the series is about, how the points are totaled, and actually all the point standings right now. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll all be in the description. Again, this is one of the custom, uh, custom series that I run. It's actually a lot of fun basically creating a totally brand new truck series that is run weekly filled with a couple handful of uh, double points races and mostly on every single track in the game but yeah Gustine had a very good run at uh, Daytona last week and he's trying to back it on up with a uh, another good run here. But Harrison Burton is sticking with us. Let's take a lap in uh, in cockpit. There we go. Essentially, that's kind of like to get all the uh, proper ambience uh, 
shown from me to you, chat. I do prefer uh, the the uh, over the hood cam though. That's just me. I'm not one for this uh, follow cam. To me, I don't think you get uh, the the proper view of uh, of all your surroundings. It also feels like you're going slower, honestly. Hello. Major moment coming off, too. The rears are actually starting to slide a little bit. Allows Harrison Burton to kind of close on up. Yeah, Harrison Burton is there. He's keeping us honest. Oh, but David, you weren't uh, there when I asked the question. Um, as we're moving towards uh, New Year, uh, what would you like to see out of my channel? Uh, as we uh, move into uh, 2020, a brand new decade. Which, by God, can you guys imagine? Like, we are damn near done with... Uh... Yellow flag. Ooh, okay. Who else is surprised to see Suarez replace? Uh, not me. <laughs> um... I knew it was happening sooner or later, and it was just a matter of when. But uh, as we're doing the uh, no pin to yellow challenge, we are not pinning to yellow. Imagine that. <laughs> um, Cole Custer was going to take that spot regardless. Tyro Dipple's out of the race. Good talk. Uh, Mike Snyder is uh, is pitting. Corbin Forrester pinned that last caution, so he's not pitting. Well, uh, neither is Josh Ram. Oh my god, I have hiccups now. Oh, chat, bear with me. Oh, actually, he's just not pitting. <laughs> okay, never mind then. So Tyler Dipple's on a alternate strategy with me. Okay, halfway on lap 69. Okay, Tyler Dipple, your job is to hold him up for as long as possible. And maybe we'll consider you for a ride at GMS next season. I mean, apparently since they're just giving those rides away, like Zane Smith. Oh my god, GMS is going to be stacked next year. We have Zane Smith, uh, Brett Moffitt, Sheldon Creed, and Tyler Ankrum in and, uh, and full-time GMS trucks. GMS is stacked for 2020. It is not even funny. But Gustine actually moved into uh, the second spot. He's trying to get a piece of that uh, playoff pie by winning this race. Again, much like uh, the regular uh, season, we have a playoff system of win and you're in. Oh yeah? Oh, I mean like, definitely on uh, on races I'm gonna be, do I can do a lot more challenge. Challenges. Your job is to hold up the field for as long as possible. Yeah, exactly. I mean, no one wants to ride at uh, Young's Motorsports for all their life. GMS is where it's at. GMS is literally the uh, the Joe Gibbs of the truck series. Like, it is not even fair. Thor Sport and Kyle Bo uh, KBM is up there, but I think GMS is hands down the best team in uh, the truck series. But Gus Dean, out of all drivers is breathing down our necks. So hey, I guess don't knock Young's Motorsports because here they are. But 
But yo, if you're just joining everyone, welcome. This is the Truck of Tomorrow series, race nine here at Auto Club, but with an added challenge. No pit under caution. We are only pitting under green. Which, speaking of, we're gonna be pitting here in about four laps, give or take. Probably around like lap 75, let's be honest here. So yeah, Gustine is licking his lips right now. I will leave the bottom open, but. The owner's championship because, uh, because the 51 has a rotating door. It was actually very close. Oh yeah, yeah, let's go. Spire Motorsports, I mean, hell, if they can win a race, why can't, uh, they're clearly better than Premium, duh. Got a car low now. Draw oh. on the bottom. I'm, I'm giving him room. It's up to him. Got one inside. Whoa. Oh, okay. Well, we kind of uh, botched it right there. We got really loose, but we're good. We're good. Next time round. Yeah, Reed Swordson getting a win. Oof. Oh, my God. Yeah, Gustine is pulling away, chat. Can you imagine if Gustine wins this race? He's going to get in... Get into the playoffs and lock himself in. The unsponsored car. Chat, I said I'm not pinning under car. <laughs> I, I said it. I'm not doing it. I'm, I swear on me, mom, I am not doing this. I am not pinning. It, it's the game's telling me, it's like, dude, what are you doing? Why are you staying out? I, I I'm I I made an oath on my on my Boy Scout heritage. I was never in the Boy Scouts, but I kind of wanted to be. That I am not pinning under ye under yellow. We're having fun. We're locked into the playoffs. Might as well. Let's do a challenge video and see where we lie. All right, be smart out here. Going green. Yeah, getting you on gas. Imagine that. All right. But we are just a monster on uh, restarts. All right, so we have one lap. We have to pit this time. Oh, oh, I have no idea who uh, who crashed on out. By the way. All right, so this time, this time. Oh, don't worry about it, man. You're almost out of the gas. All right, this time, this time. Slow down. Taking it very nice and cautiously. There we go, perfect. All right, um, I think this is good. Honestly, this truck is perfect. So, yeah, let's see what we can do. So, I see Matt Crafton's out of the race. He's right there. But who else is out? Oh, he's all the way down there. Oh, Natalie Decker's out. Oh, no. Oh, no, Natalie. Who else are we going to meme? Oh, poor Natalie. All right, I hear him coming off of four. Here they come. All right, so we're definitely going a lap down. Clear for the pit. Hammer down. Hold your line. Got one outside. All right, so we're in the thick of it, chat. We're in the thick of it. All right, let's go. Car outside. All right, they want a race. We have a Hold race.
but Gustine is pulling away. Oh my goodness. Oh, cheese Louise. Am I the first car on the lap? Okay, I am. I am first car one lap down. First truck, sorry. Respect the pronoun. All right, let's go, let's go. Careful, still there. Making a way forward. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Still there. All right, so we have one more set of tires. On pit road, we have to pit on the green. Still there. We got this, we got this. The inside of Anthony Alfredo. There we go. That would have been for uh, what P5. But I'm just surprised that Gustine is actually leading this race. I know. I know. I sound like a broken record, but my goodness. But Johnny Sauter. Sheldon Creed. Gonna arc it in. Go to the high side here. We're gonna sandwich Sheldon Creed, Johnny Sauter below, and me high. Just get around both. Alright, on to Gustine. I don't want to hold him up, because I want to see where uh, Gustine's gonna go. If he's actually... He, because he is actually pulling away. And that's actually very surprising. I never thought that would have been possible. Yo, Undead Warrior. Thank you so much for the follow, my guy. Welcome to the Groovy Crew. Glad to have you. How you doing today? All right, Johnny Sauter is. Oh, that's awesome, my guy. Hopefully you're enjoying the race. Thank you so much for the follow. Who's your favorite driver? All clear. There we go. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. By the way, Chad, hopefully you're all enjoying the race. I know I definitely like to do uh, these challenge videos. Uh, either, either. Either one works, uh, Undead Warrior. And I know... It, it makes things interesting, I'll say that. So we got our lap back the hard way, so we definitely do have pace. We're actually very close to our next follower goal. Almost to 175. So seriously, I want to say thank you all so much for stopping on now and watching me race. Hey, you know, hey, respect. My favorite guy is Jeff Gordon, too. Do you have a current? You know, you would sort of think that 252 would be running hot, but it's actually not. Ryan Blaney or... Or Kurt? Okay. Ryan Blaney's cool. Um, <laughs> so, uh, William Byr Byron actually uh, made it official that uh, he's dating Ryan Blaney's sister. What's everyone's opinion on that? Like, he showed up to the award show with his sister. Not Bl not Byron's sister, Blaney's sister, of course.
Yeah, we're pulling away. Very... Oh, no, don't worry about it, my guy. What made you get out of it? Mostly Kyle Bush Wing, okay. <laughs> so you like his brother, but not uh, the other brother? Or you just didn't like uh, how he was dominating? Because I know people were like that with uh, Jimmy Johnson for a while too. Like he was winning so many races that people stopped, uh, stopped watching and hated Jimmy because he was winning so many times. Dominating. Okay. You know what? That's, and that's fine. That's fine. Kyle Busch is a very polarizing figure. I... I am not a fan of Kyle, but I do respect that he is damn good behind the wheel. I'm not a... Yeah, I, yeah, I respect Kyle. That's a good word for it. I don't like his personality, though. And I don't even mind that, personally. That, from my personal opinion, I don't even mind that. I just don't like his attitude. And there was a, oh god, yeah, there was a couple of first-time winners uh, this season, mostly in the lower series, honestly. Like uh, in the Xfinity and uh, Truck series, we saw uh, mostly saw the uh, first-time winners, but they were present. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Justin Haley. Yeah, Justin Haley, Alex Bowman. Then he had uh, a couple breakthrough streaks like uh, Carl Larson and uh, Ryan Blaney. Or Droughts, I should say. Byron is, I, I'm going to call it now, Byron in 2020 is going to get a, uh, is going to get a uh, win. I can see it right now. He has come, he has improved in his first uh, two years in the sport. And he is going to flourish, I think, in 2020. Oh my god. And chat, I am just so hyped for the Rookie of the Year battle. It's going to be so good between uh, uh, literally the big three in the Xfinity series. Having Christopher Bell, Tyler Reddick, and Cole Custer all battle out for Rookie of the Year. Yo, Greg, welcome to the stream, man. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Don't let 18 fool you. Uh, we are actually on a alternate strategy from everyone else. We are under the no pit under yellow um, strategy. Meanwhile, everyone else, well, just doesn't, is racing normally. Oh man, well, hey, that's awesome. Thank you so much for stopping on out. So yeah, we're uh, doing the don't stop don't stop under yellow challenge. So we're here in P18. That's because we had a caution about like what, 15 laps ago? Yeah.
Well, hopefully you can get it soon. I mean, I would love to do some uh, online lobbies, but... Yeah, you uh, miss a, a bunch of different things. Like, I've been commentators cursing uh, a lot of people. Like, literally, I, t I started talking about Matt Crafton and how he's doing really good in P2, and then he DNF'd. So he's down in pit road. Then I started uh, Nally Decker and how I was coming up to lap her, and she DNF'd. But yeah, I have, uh, if you're, if you're considering chat, if anyone who's watching is considering getting this game, I will definitely get it. It's a lot of fun and it's a huge improvement over Heat 3. Like, night and day difference. Oh man, Johnny Sard is actually running down Gustine. I can I can see them off in the distance back there. Honestly, I, uh, um, I don't know how uh, Formula One is. I have never actually played Formula One 2019. How is it? I mean, okay, so the thing is, I, I know about it. I never actually played it, though. I wish that in Formula 1 2019, they would have focused more on the Formula 2 series. Because, like, I know it's in the game. And you can, in the career mode, it starts off with snippets of, like, hey, you pop in here, and you're racing. Okay? So, like, you have, like, five laps to go, and you race the rest of a Formula 2 race. I wish that you could actually have a full season in Formula 2 cars. I don't know. In any major motorsport, I love the lower series. I love the Xfinity and Truck series. I love Formula 2 because it shows where drivers come from. And you can actually catch uh, some of the new hot shots. Like, I was actually able to watch uh, Charles Leclerc actually go through Formula 2 and dominate. Now, here, here he is. Uh, Finishing fourth in points. That was a very smooth uh, one and two, might I add. That was, that was smooth. Oh, the big one. Well, definitely, people are already counting down the uh, the time until the new uh, season, and we're at like what seventy two days or something like that. I can't wait till the five hundred. Honestly, you know uh, the season's back up when uh, the clash is uh, on. And the clash is uh, coming up as well. Oh yeah, I'm hyped. I can't wait for the new season. My only hope, honestly, for uh, the new season. It just let people pass. I know there's not going to be any arrow changes, but hopefully they can... Hopefully something can be uh, changed. Mm. Chat, I said I'm not pitting under yellow. I would be able to make it the rest of the way. This sucks. <laughs> oh, no. Oh... NASCAR 15, yeah. Oh, mamma mia. The chat, the stuff I put up with.
yeah, we're not pitting here because, like I said, we're only doing the uh, only green flag stop <laughs> strategy. So, uh, strategy, I use that with air quotes. So, uh, I don't know who wrecked, honestly. It doesn't show you. Uh, it must have been just a flat tire because uh, no one is out. Very good start, though. All right, so everyone's on fresh tires. They can make it the rest of the way. Hopefully there is uh, no caution for the rest of the race. Or actually, I hope there is after I pit. Who is my favorite cup driver? Chase Elliott. He's my guy. And I'm not gonna lie. Brett Moffitt, P2. Oh man, I wanted to actually get uh, drinking my water there. Damn, missed it. Oh, you too, Mav. Thank you so much for stopping on now. Have a great night, my guy. Big Eric Jones. Uh, Big Eric Jones fan? Hey, I can I can definitely see it. I respect Eric Jones. Oh man, Brett Moffitt. Oh no, Gustine, no. Alright, but Brett Moffitt. Who's in P3? That's Ross. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah. 2015 race at uh uh well summer race at Daytona. Oh wow, Brett. Oh my god. What a. He had a huge run. Ten more laps for us is when uh, we have to uh, endure. But no, like, seriously, like, we have to appreciate all the safety measures that NASCAR has gone through throughout the years in order to. Uh, Make sure that each and every driver is safe in the cockpit. Now, Ross is making a move on Brett. Ross definitely needs a uh, win to secure himself. And, uh, yes. Um, don't, in order to secure himself in the playoffs, he is definitely not secure down there in, like, 16th or 15th, 16th place. He definitely wants a win or to oh but yeah it's just it's just that uh like i said that uh that advances in technology well i knew i was i was gonna spin there if i continued oh my gustine's making a move he's coming back Oh, even after the win, he was just like, hey, I'm giving him room. Um, he's like, hey, is he all right? Just making sure he was cool. And that's awesome. Oh, that was my fault. I was looking at chat. When you forget to turn. Side of Ross. Car outside. 
Oh yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, no, I knew exactly what you meant. Careful, still there. You're all clear up top. Inside. Careful, still there. Yeah. Got to make our move on the outside, gonna run the middle. Car outside. Alright, clear outside. Gain a lot of steam, but is it enough? No, not enough. We're gonna have a, some momentum on the high side. We're gonna swap it on down low. Careful, still there. All clear. They both decided to go high there. Stay low. Oh, yeah. But I think he would have felt better knowing that everyone was alright. Got a car high now. You know. All clear. Because I, I remember his uh, post-race interview and the radio that came out after that. He was just making sure that he was alright. Still there. Alright, back to the front. Okay, we have five laps to go until we have to pit. And essentially after that, we're hoping for a caution. But tires are starting to even on out, so it shows that we have the, the faster truck. dip on below the uh, white line just for adding grip. Don't want to go too low, though. That's when I'll spin on out. Johnny Sauter makes a move on Brent Moffat and sticks it. Top five is very close back there. Got the pit here in about three more laps. Oh, uh, getting you pumped to play some NASCAR? Hey, that's, that's my job. That's what I love to hear. I try to get people in the NASCAR mood. do this every day that's that's oh we have a slow car going down pit road right now um i want to have as fresh tires as possible so if i don't go to one here before i pass pit road i'm gonna stay on an extra lap all right cool one more lap one more lap hey then hey Thank you so much, man. I take that as a compliment. That means I'm doing my job. Glad to hear it. You're almost out of the gas. Glad you stopped on out, man. All right, so this time. Dip on down low. Slow down. Definitely got out of the way so I don't impact the uh, race right there because Brett Moppa was starting to pull away a little bit. So yeah, this truck is perfect. I am not changing it.
Ugh, 17.2. Gross. Hey, definitely. Well, like I said, when uh, we get uh, to 175, I'll be gladly hosting open lobbies. All right, so chat, we are hoping for a caution. Caution to get us in contention. All clear. The high side carry us. Look to the inside of Tyler Dipple. He's having a good race. Clear high, bud. But Brett Moffat. Currently winless in the uh, season, but still like 120 points ahead of uh, 16. It wants that win just for validation. And here we are with 15 to go this time by. He might do it. <laughs> that was my fault. Oh my god. I don't know what I was doing there. I looked down and all of a sudden, hey, wall. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> moving forward from that. Trying to get some heat in the tires, so we're really kind of just shooting up into the corner. So if you hear tire squealing, that's me doing it. Trying to get the tires a grip. But yeah, we'll have the lucky dog. Should the caution come on out. But will it come out? That's going to be the question. Again, this is a challenge video, so I did this to myself. If, uh... If this works out or not. Hopefully it does, because I want to make myself look like a fool. But if a caution comes out, then I look like a strat strategy genius. So hey, go big or go home, right? Yeah, we're just... We're biting so well into the track that this this truck feels perfect. I don't I didn't have to adjust this at all. I had to adjust the tape a couple laps ago, or a couple stops ago, and that was it. So they're on lap 124. We'll see. I mean, like, even if a caution comes out and I don't pass the leader, I'm not that worried because I have the lucky dog. Too. That's actually, eh. Definitely not as good, but you know what, whatever. We're closing in on Sheldon Creed. And definitely on the trucks in front. We'll run out of time before we catch them, though. Alright, 
10 more, 10 more laps. Yo, David, gifting tier, tier one subs. What is it with you and gifting tier one subs? Thank you so much, my guy. And five rewards. Using emotes, let's go. Grand total of 11 gifted tier subs. Oh my god. Thank you so much, David. Now you guys can too use Natalie Wrecker. Hey, thanks, my guy. And seriously, that actually makes me... That's like a true feel-good gamer moment. Huge thank you, David Robb. Careful, still there. All the way to the wall. Still there. What's, and it, it's an honor. Thank you so much. That I'm one of those two people. But yeah. Chat, I'm starting to run out of hope. I don't think a caution's coming out for uh, this challenge to work. Brett Moffin's too good. Yeah, Pat Wreck. For anyone who doesn't know, my emotes are uh, a salt shaker that looks like a uh, a salt shaker that looks like a uh, a NASCAR race truck. Uh, Natalie Decker uh, coded as uh, Wrecker, if you recall from uh, the Bristol truck race where she literally got spun out by the Wrecker. And I also have a set of flaming tires. As my emote, so yeah, All huge clear. thank you. But if you're just joining, welcome everyone. This is race nine of the Truck of Tomorrow series, where we actually have a a little bit of a challenge video. We have a don't stop under yellow challenge, which as you can see is going alright. It's going decent, I should say. We have coming up on five laps to go. We have fresh tires than everyone else, but... The caution came out at the right time for them in order to go the distance. Five to go, five to go. Yeah, five to go. I need, I definitely 100% need a caution. I use all three sets of tires pretty evenly. Four to go. I guess my goal is literally just to pass Brent Mop and just get my lap back the hard way. Yeah. I cut down easily uh, five seconds on uh, 17th and uh, 16th and 17th, but it's not enough. approaching them right now. 
At least we did better than uh, Haley Deegan. I'll say that. Coming to three to go at the line. And we actually got our lap back the hard way. Yeah, Haley, hold him up, hold him up. Careful, still there. Clear all around. And start drifting up the track. Alright, it's gonna be two laps to go again. For us, but a caution needs to come out like right now. White flag, next time it wins it. Well, Chad, we tried. I should blow a tire. Oh my god, like, um... Okay. What you're referencing was me actually blowing a tire. We had two laps to go, and I had 0% tire life. Of course I was gonna blow a tire. I wasn't about to pit with two laps to go. Or I could, yeah, I could go the Bubble Wallace route and just be like, ah. Oh. Just like, oh yeah, my tire is down and just spin myself out. But Brett Moffitt, finally getting that W. He's so desperately wanted. It sucks that the strategy and challenge wasn't able to work out, so. <sighs> oh well, whatever. We already have two wins in the uh, in the bank, so we definitely have a lot of points to play around with. I think it was also a bit of a challenge that uh, the AI had uh, slower uh, fuel consumption. Yeah, P18, definitely disappointing, but whatever. Hey, you know what? It was a fun challenge, though. I had fun. Chat, hopefully you had fun, too. And really, my speed rating was only knocking me there for uh, my finishing position. We were dominant. So yeah, we had the fast lap, but we get all these extra bonus points because the Truck of Tomorrow uh, rewards you for most laps led, uh, fastest lap, and pole position. So Ross gets one, um, one for pole position. And I get the other two because of, uh, um, because of fastest lap and, uh, most laps led. So, oh well, whatever. I'm not gonna, no skin off my bones. Let's check out the uh, race results though, see where everything's all shaking on out. Yo, Big Deer Hunter 42. Hopefully you're enjoying the race. Thank you so much, man. So we have Brad Moffat gets the win and his uh, lock into the championship, or playoffs, I should say. Um, another, that's a very good race by uh, Gustine. Two back-to-back -back, uh, third place finishes. Oh man, but it sucks for Jordan Anderson who is doing so well and Matt Crafton all the way back there. Don't mind me, chat. I was just taking pictures. Taking pictures because as you all know, since this is a custom series, I take points all by myself. All right, but Chad, don't think we're done for the night. We have another race coming. So, uh, but just real quick, to show everyone what I was racing with, basically the hardest difficulty that I could come up with. Um, basically normal mechanical failures, but I had slower fuel consumption and also normal tire wear. I'm gonna bump that back up to normal because that's usually what I race on. And of course, 105 difficulty, can't go higher than that. I do want to check out something though. Oh, I can't go higher than that. Um, so yeah, you can't go higher than 105. It is the hardest difficulty you can possibly race with. So yeah. Oh, okay, Greg, I see ya. Um, and then single stage and quick qualify, as you all know. So yeah, we have a whole nother uh, race to go here.